Let's convert one mile into kilometers. And I will give you a hint that 1.00 inches equals 2.54 centimeters. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do it in a number of different steps. We'll take miles and convert that to feet, feet to inches, inches to centimeters, centimeters to meters, and then meters to kilometers. So we'll start with one mile. Now we're going to convert that to feet. So we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. To get rid of the miles, we need to put the mile in the denominator, so it cancels top and bottom, and feet in the numerator. Now, if you don't remember what the conversion factor for feet and miles is, one mile is 5,280 feet, and that's another definition. And then the miles will cancel. Now we'll convert feet to inches. We've got feet on the top, so we've got to have feet on the bottom and convert that to inches, put the inches on the top, and what's the conversion? One foot is equal to 12 inches. So remember, top and bottom always have to e equal each other. And then we're going to, oh, so the feet cancel. And then we want to cancel the inches, so inches go in the denominator of our conversion factor, and I'll put centimeters in the top, and what's the conversion? Well, we know that one inch is 2.54 centimeters, and the inches cancel. And then we'll convert centimeters to meters, so centimeters go on the bottom, meters on the top, so centimeters cancel. What's the conversion? One meter is 100 centimeters. Notice here we've got the number part up on the top, but now we've got the 100 in the denominator. So we've got to be careful with those conversion factors. And then we're going to convert meters meters on the top, meters on the bottom, to kilometers, and what's the conversion? One kilometer is 1,000 meters. The meters cancel. We are left now with kilometers. Multiply that all out. 1.00 times 52, 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 divided by 1,000. What do we end up with? We end up with one mile equals Three sig figs, definition, definition, three sig figs, definition, definition. We can keep three sig figs. One mile is 1.61 kilometers. There we go. So we have converted miles to kilometers, keeping track of where everything goes. Uh, and there we go. Now let's use this conversion, this, this uh, uh, equality here, to do another conversion. Let's try one more. Let's say you're driving on the highway at 60 MPH. Now, what is MPH? What does that mean? That means 60 miles per hour. So that means miles in the numerator, hours in the denominator. Let's convert that to our standard SI unit for speed. Well, what will the standard SI unit for speed be? Well, what's the standard SI unit for distance? That would be meters. What's the standard SI unit for time? That would be seconds. So, let's see if we can convert 60 miles per hour to meters per second. And let's use the conversion factor that we already figured out for miles and kilometers. I'm just going to write all these down to save a little time. So, 60 miles per hour, let's convert the miles to kilometers. So we've got miles on the top, we have to have miles in the denominator of our conversion factor. Miles and kilometers, we already know that 1.61 kilometers is 1.00 miles. Then we'll convert kilometers to meters, so we want to get rid of the kilometers, put those on the bottom, meters on the top, 1,000 meters is one kilometer. You don't always have to write the one, uh, we kind of understand that we mean one. Now we want to convert hours to seconds, so we've got hours on the denominator, we have to put hours in the numerator to cancel it out. Hours to minutes, one hour, 60 minutes. Then we want to get rid of the minutes, so we put the minutes in the numerator of the conversion factor, one minute, 60 seconds. So let's look. We've got miles on the top, miles on the bottom. Kilometers on the top, kilometers on the bottom. Hours on the bottom, hours on the top. Minutes on the bottom, minutes on the top. What are we left with? Meters on the top, seconds on the bottom. So meters per second. 60.0 times 1.61 divided by 1, but we know that doesn't do anything, times 1,000 divided by 60, divided by 60, how many sig figs? 
We've got three, three, definition, definition, definition. We can keep three sig figs. Multiply this all out, what do we get? 26.8 meters per second. That is 60 miles per hour. Now, again, does this seem reasonable? Does this make sense? Think about standing on the sidewalk or, well, next to the highway or something. I'm not really suggesting this, but car goes by 60 miles an hour. You, you kind of have an idea of how fast that would be. Whoosh, goes right by. Now, how far is 26.8? Well, this is one meter. How many is 26.8 of these? Well, just think about a thousand, uh, not a thousand, uh, 30. How much would be about 30? Well, three of these would be about maybe this long, okay? If you can see the ends there, can't really see the ends probably. Just think about three of those, and then 10 of those, 10 times three meters. Well, we're talking about, say, from here to outside the building, maybe over in the other side of the sidewalk or something like that, approximately 30 meters. Well, a car going 60 miles an hour, think about how fast that's going. One, two, three, four. Do you think a car going 60 miles an hour could go that distance in one second? One second. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That seems a, a reasonable amount. Would it be 2.68? No, that's way too short. We know that would be wrong. 268? about the distance of um, a football field? No, that's too far. A car would not be going that far in, at, at 60 miles an hour every second. So a ballpark figure, that does seem to be uh, good. All right, very good. So there we go. Now, just a couple more points. Keep in mind that units can be treated like algebraic quantities. So if you were to have 2x plus 3x, what's 2x plus 3x? Well, it's 5x. In the same way, 2 meters plus 3 meters equals 5 meters. So it's very much like an algebraic quantity. Could you take 2 meters plus 3 kilometers? Is that equal to 5 something? Well, not one of those units, not meters or, or kilometers. In order to add quantities with different units, you have to convert one of those to be the same units as the other. You'd either have to convert two meters into kilometers that, so that you could add them, or convert the three kilometers into meters so you could add them. Don't add quantities with different units. What about multiplication? 2x times 3x, what's that? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, x times x, x squared. In the same way, 2 meters times 3 meters would be 6 meters squared. Well, what's a meter squared? Meters are units of distance. A meter squared is a unit of area. So if you start talking about the area of something, like the area of a square or a rectangle, if this were two meters by, I didn't make that really a rectangle, two meters by three meters, this would have an area of six square meters. A square meter would be the area of a square that was one meter by one meter. So again, very much like um, algebraic quantities. Be very careful though, when you have quantities to powers, for example, uh, if you have centimeters squared, what's the conversion between meters squared and centimeters squared? Well, it's not one meter is one, 100 centimeters squared, or let's go to, to millimeters, say. We know that one, mil, one meter is 1,000 millimeters. If we want to determine a conversion for square meters, we have to square both sides completely. So one meter squared would be 1,000 squared, which is 1 million millimeters squared, or 10 to the sixth millimeters squared. So if you've got uh, units to powers, make sure that you take the original conversion factor, the whole conversion factor, and raise it to those powers to get to the correct conversion for, say, meters squared or meters cubed or something like that. Okay, very, very good. What we'll do next time is start taking these ideas and start applying them to describing 
objects as they move. We will start talking about objects in motion. And that will bring us to our next lecture.